having the student take control, really, and learning goals that you, even when you think you know a student really well, you hear a new goal, a personal goal, and you're like, what? I didn't know that about you, you know? Thinking about a traditional parent-teacher conference versus this model, whether or not they start out nervous or terrified even, um, most of what I see when they leave the room is a sense of accomplishment. You know, they really, whether it went stupendously or not, you do see sort of like this, like, pride, you know, because they, they did it and their parents were there and they saw it. So I, I don't really feel like I saw a lot of that with a parent-teacher conference model because oftentimes the student is sort of just listening or being told something. It doesn't have to be that way, but I think that kind of is how it ends up. So it's nice to see the pride, you know, it's definitely an accomplishment, so. It's a lot of time and it's definitely like a shift in the approach. I thought that it, the most challenging thing would be um, parents being unsatisfied with the process and they're not. For the most part, we have not had any of that, which is refreshing. I sometimes, I, I wish that we could uh, in the future move towards a model where um, it's more personalized. So you didn't, you know, Emmett doesn't have to use that template if he doesn't want to because he wants to use an Adobe Spark site or something. Um, but right now we feel like with the time that we have to devote to it that, you know, this is sort of the best way to make sure every student has a, a full presentation of their work. Um, do it. Just doing the jump was what was necessary to just say, okay, we're doing this and it might not turn out great, um, but we're going to make the shift and then make the changes that we need to make in the future. So. You, there's so much stuff out there. So like I was looking at Google Forms from Montpelier and I was looking at, you know, all these different schools had all of these different forms they're sending home and letters and and I felt like I was sifting through all of the, these things and feeling overwhelmed and like, oh, this is how I'm supposed to do it or this is how we're supposed to do it. And when we finally made the shift as a team that we were like, okay, no, we need to send a letter home and we're gonna maybe take some information from the, these other schools, but we're gonna make a letter that makes sense for us. And then we're gonna use a template. Yeah, and there's some great templates out there, but this is what ours is gonna look like a little differently. So once we made it our own, it was easy to make the jump when we were stuck in the part of like, there's all this stuff and we don't know the best way to do it and they say this is it and that's it. It was, that was really hard. And then once you just said, we're just gonna do it our own way, using resources that are available, then it was like, oh, okay, we can do this. So do it, your own way. <laughs>